All right, in this tutorial, we are going to be customizing our WooCommerce shop page to include this amazing photo divider to break up our products. If you've been following along, we, uh, we did some featured products in the first um, section, and we colored the box, and we made the columns a little different. And in the second section, we have the rest of the products. So now we're going to add this photo divider, and why would you do that? Reasons to do that are it gives you a big design boost for very little effort. It can provide a smooth transition to the rest of your products. So like I was saying, if you have featured products here, like in video 2, and the rest of the products here, if you have... Uh, if you decide to highlight these boxes in any specific color, I was able to create a nice transition with a gradient background or a gradient overlay on the uh, transition photo. It will also make your shop unique and it breaks up the mindless scrolling. All right, so what are the steps to do this? Uh, I went to place it and I went to the mock-up generator and I searched yoga and you can see all of the many options that you have I will leave a link in the video description it is a, an amazing resource here's the one I chose because it has landscape sort of potential so you click that and then you can upload the designs to your uh, photo so this is an optional step I have a pattern that I uploaded that's on my store to tie in my store, but if if it's just the context that you want of someone doing yoga, you could easily just make the um, just a plain color and just use the photo as is. So I uploaded my design and then I downloaded the photo. Then I opened it up in a free photo uh, photo editing app. I use place it, uh, not place it. I use uh, paint.net. This is for PCs only, unfortunately. But um, if in paint.net, I was able to crop the photo by drawing it, the uh, the box around it, and then now it's looking more like a uh, landscape photo divider. And then I also adjusted the size to about 1100 or 1200 wide. This will, since it's just a background photo, it's not really that essential to have that much resolution. So go ahead and take down the size so it doesn't take up so much space and your site will load faster. Next, when I saved it, paint.net also has the option of saving it as less quality. So it has the slider here. And I dropped it all the way into the 70s to bring the size down to about 100 kilobytes so that your site will load faster. Again, it's a background image. It's not that important. Once you save the image that you're going to use on your site, you can go ahead and upload it to your media. And then when you upload it to your media, you can then use it as a background image. It to give you uh, a little more information about this section here, you would just create a section in between the two uh, shop widgets like this, just by hitting the plus. And then, uh, not going to use template, but what you would do is do a one column, and then you would drag the inner section into that section. The reason I did an intersection, here's the intersection here, and I got rid of one of the columns, delete. The reason I used an intersection is because the photo would bleed a little too far if I didn't use the intersection. So to get these lined up, I did an intersection here and then you click on that intersection, go to style, and here we have the background. And here's where you choose your background image. 
once you put in the background image, you can then add the background overlay, which is the gradient, and then you choose the two colors. So the two colors kind of help you transition from featured products to other products. And then I just have a single widget, an H3 widget, dragged onto the uh, intersection. And then to adjust the height of the, winter, uh, the intersection, I would go to layout and adjust the minimum height here. Get it to about where you want it. And then for the intersection as well, you can adjust the photo to uh, center, center, cover, so that it covers it. I wanted to show you why I use the intersection real quick. So why I use the intersection, um, since I have my screen recording on this section, I'm going to move my screen over and make the window a lot wider. See how when I get to the edge of the website, how these are lined up? If you use the regular section, it will stretch all the way across the screen, and I want to keep it contained. It's nice and clean and boxed. If you use the column to do the background, they don't line up, and you have to use spacers because there's no minimum height requirement. So that's why I went with the intersection. It's because um, you can easily control the height with the minimum height and it is also lined up so you have this oh and vertical align middle so that that one widget isn't sit at the top it's gonna sit in the middle so that's one of the things you can do with Elementor Pro I will leave the uh, link in the video description for Elementor Pro the other videos that I did like separating the featured products and regular products that's going to be in the video description as well and that's pretty much it for this tutorial um, I have a, a closing slide here thanks a lot for watching there's more print-on-demand tutorials coming find the ultimate resource list below and if you found this helpful support with a like sub or comment